everybody. Welcome to Tent Talk. Tent Talk. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So we just got done exploring Petrified Forest. What'd you think, Andrew? I thought it was different from what I expected. Yeah, there was no green. Like, I was expecting trees and yeah. plants, but mm -mm -mm, I was all expecting, desert. Yeah, I was expecting, like, petrified trees that would still be standing, but mm -hmm. they're definitely not. It's in the middle of a desert. Mm -hmm. The trees have fallen down. And they've been petrified. Mm -hmm. We saw really, or we stopped at many points though along yeah. the way. We stopped at Pintada Point. We stopped at Crystal Forest and explored those areas, and they were pretty cool. Yeah, the Pintada Point was a place to see the painted desert. Beautiful view. Mm -hmm. And Crystal Forest. Mm -hmm. What was that good for? It was just cool just to walk around. It was a paved trail, which. And there were like fallen petrified mm -hmm. trees, well, fallen trees that became petrified, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's on a 28 mile drive through the park, which is really easy to do. So if you're in a hurry, definitely do that mm -hmm. at least. It's not that big of a park. I think we were expecting it to be a little bit larger, but it's yeah. definitely probably a one or two day explore park. Yeah, so. maximum two days. Mm -hmm. And if there are monsoons all around you, because Arizona gets some monsoon mm -hmm. rains, as they call it. Comes down pretty hard. Yeah, you'll mm -hmm. definitely try and do it in one day, and it probably shouldn't be a problem. But Yeah, so check out Petrified Forest. Yeah, next round of Carlsbad Caverns. Mm -hmm. See you then! <laughs> Bye!